Hi everyone, konnichiwa. Welcome back to this channel. If you are new, hi, my name is Miwa. I'm a Japanese mom of two boys living in Tokyo, Japan. Today is Saturday and currently 7 a.m. We are having breakfast. The fruits of this video will be an easy, healthy dinner combo which can be whipped up in 30 minutes. Four dishes in total, so stay with me till the end. We just finished the breakfast and we are heading to the Tokyo Tower. So, I want to bring you guys to our Tokyo tour. So, let's go! Was it all just a Just all in my head. Floating rivers upstream, the things that you said. Tell me, are you honest? Tell me, did you know that you would be leaving me just like the winners know? Tell me, I'm be honest. Tell me, should I know? They say time is a healer, just you wait and see. The problem is for me. We were supposed to go to the top of the Tokyo Tower, but since it was so hot and kids were in a terrible mood, we gave up on going and decided to stop at the temple nearby called Zojoji in Japanese. If you come to Tokyo, this area is a must come, in my opinion. It's located in the middle of the city, but surprisingly quiet and literally the place to immerse yourself in Japanese culture. Back home and time to make dinner. We're gonna load up all the summer seasonal vegetables in four dishes. But like I said, it will come up in 30 minutes, otherwise, I can see myself ordering some food. I was so tired. <laughs> Let's start by the one that takes the longest to cook, which is corn rice. I soaked the rice this morning and drained the water. To the clay pot, add rice, water, salt, then mix. Remove the corn kernel from the cup. <laughs> It went all over the table, so I recommend doing this inside of the large bowl to catch flying kernels. <laughs> Mince carrot and onion into small pieces. Then just put everything on top of the rice. We are not going to discard corn cob as it will enhance the flavor even more. The recipe is from my Japanese breakfast cookbook, which you can find the link in the description box. In the book, I only use corn to enjoy the sweetness of corn itself. But like what I'm doing today, adding extra ingredients is a great way to amp up the nutrition, so I hope you will give it a shot. Bring it to the stove and start cooking over high heat. Once it starts to boil, lower the heat, cover, and cook it for 10 minutes. In the meantime, we're gonna whip up some vegan miso soup. Kombu has been soaked in water for 30 minutes. I did it before I started working on the rice. Now it's hydrated. Heat kombu just before it starts to boil. 
Once you see the small bubbles around the edge of the pot, remove it. Then in goes onion, carrots, and mushrooms. Close the lid and cook for about 10 minutes or so. For a side dish, we're gonna whip up some salad using only 5 ingredients. Remove the bottom of radish sprouts. You can use spinach, broccoli sprouts, or even cucumber would be nice. Cut cherry tomatoes in half. I had okura in my fridge, so going in. You can use any type of vegetable you have on hand. Then sprinkle on some shio kombu. Shio kombu is a salted kombu mainly containing kombu, soy sauce, salt, and sugar. We often mix it into the rice or add this to the pasta to make the Japanese style pasta. If you're interested, I have a shop link in the description box below. Shio kombu is already savory now, so all I need is some good quality oil. For my case, I'm using flaxseed oil, which is high in omega-3 fat. Toss and keep it in the fridge. Coming back to rice, after 10 minutes, bring the heat to high for 15 seconds to evaporate the steam accumulating at the bottom. Then off the heat, steam it for another 15 minutes with the lid on. We can walk away from the rice now. We have another 15 minutes, so let's finish up the miso soup. When the carrots and onion are cooked, turn off the heat, then add tofu and wakame seaweed. Dissolve the miso paste. I'm using yellow miso today, but red miso, white miso, or even a little bit of everything is what makes your miso soup very special. By changing up the miso and the ingredients is what keeps us wanting to make it over and over again. In 10 minutes, I'm going to make the main dish. It's chive omelette. By the way, all the recipes can be found on my website. The link is in the description box. Crack the egg into a bowl, adding the rice wine and your choice of soup stock powder. Whisk them together. Chop the Chinese chives into about 2 inch in length. Heat the vegetable oil in the pan over high heat, pour in the egg mixture, and stir it a couple of times. When it's halfway cooked, remove it from the heat and transfer to a plate. In the same pan, heat the toasted semi oil over high heat, followed by the thicker part of Chinese chives. Stir it for 30 seconds, then add the rest. Cook it for another 1 minute or so until the chives are partially wilted. Drizzle in the oyster sauce and soy sauce. Add the eggs back into the pan and stop the heat immediately. Transfer to our serving plate and now you are ready to dig in. Depending on the vegetable you are opting for, it might take an extra time but this has been my family staple when I'm in a pinch. You can use spinach or bok choy as a substitute. Now dinner is served. I don't usually make everything from scratch for dinner. I usually prepare some soup and rice in the morning. And oftentimes for the main dish, I only reheat some from the meal prep. How I plan the meal and how I keep my eating and cooking life organized is what I mainly focus on in my online cooking course. If you are interested, I welcome you to sign up for the waiting list. We are now in the process of creating. I can't wait to share it with you. I've recently been making this vlog recipe type of video. I'm willing to give any new trial on future content, so feel free to request me in the comment section. Thanks a lot for watching and have an awesome weekend. Bye bye, matane. Ah,